Burning tyres act as makeshift barricades, paralysing the main transport arteries of Caracas. Anti-government protests turned into violent clashes with riot police. After a month of unrest, scenes of urban warfare have become part of daily life for Venezuelans. The turmoil has led to dozens of deaths. Nobody wants our country to have a warlike confrontation. It might lead to civil war or even foreign interference. This would be a step back and it would generate a deep pain in our society. Peace is not decreed, it's constructed with actions. But for now, peace seems like a distant hope, with Nicolas Maduro and the opposition trenchant in their positions. Protesters are calling for the president's resignation. They claim he's threatening their democracy. Many blame his socialist policies for triple-digit inflation and widespread shortages of food and medical supplies. But for Maduro, protests are part of opposition efforts to destabilize the country. 29 of our countrymen have been killed and the right wing are to blame. The people call for justice. Many of these murderers are imprisoned and we will search for the rest. More than a thousand people have been arrested for looting and disturbing the peace. But that hasn't put off the opposition. Another protest is taking place this Wednesday.